I'm very happy uh, to be receiving the approval uh, to contest this presidential election. Uh, I want to thank uh, all my supporters here. I also want to thank my supporters from all over Singapore. I'm sure they are all listening uh, here uh, and uh, I will work very hard uh, over the next few days uh, to uh, win over as many votes as possible uh, and uh, I hope that my uh, supporters uh, will uh, elect me to be an independent president uh, so that I can uh, do my best uh, to use the influence of the president's office to make life better for all the people in Singapore. My goals are to reduce the cost of living, uh, to uh, make housing affordable, uh, and uh, to uh, make jobs secure and well-paying. So uh, thank you all for your support, for your messages of encouragement. I thank all the people that I meet in the food court, in the market, uh, and in the uh, MRT station, uh, and uh, uh, for their very warm reception. Uh, and uh, I hope that uh, they will reflect the feeling of everybody in Singapore that I have not met yet. And together, I hope that by 1st September, uh, we can have a president that will look after the interests of all the people of Singapore. Thank you. Okay, got it. Thank you. Uh, I will handle that. Today is Tuesday, tomorrow. I will not respond to malicious statements that you have made to me uh, and you can tell your editor uh, to be more honourable in treating me fairly. I will deal with that tomorrow. So do you explain your campaign symbol? Uh, my campaign symbol is uh, living in harmony. Uh, and it is uh, the four uh, figures represent uh, the major uh, ethnic groups in Singapore and they are all uh, reaching out uh, hope for a better future. What are they reaching out for? Is it a flower? Is it a star? Uh, no, it's reaching out for hope for a better future. That flower represents a hope for a better future. Mr. Stan, you have been low profile, so will you accompany Mr. Stan for the following campaign? I uh, wish I can. Now, I uh, will ask uh, for Mrs. Tan to be excused. It is very hectic. Uh, and actually, she's helping to look after five grandchildren. Uh, and, uh, Mrs. Tan, can we have your comment on the uh, pretty girl's post? Oh. Uh, she is not uh, involved in that, so uh, uh, she will not comment. Uh, okay, uh, we already have got the uh, centers ready uh, uh, way ahead. Uh, but it was, uh, I think my uh, campaign manager wanted to get all the signatures today. But I was afraid that uh, that would be too risky. If some of them don't come, uh, then, then it will be uh, disqualified. Uh, so I asked him to uh, quickly get all the signatures. So that was a la last minute rush. His original plan was get it all today, get everybody to come. But I think it's too risky because uh, the whole campaign, uh, so much effort has gone in uh, and uh, it could just fail for a technical reason. Okay. 
Sorry. Uh, uh, now, uh, the next nine days, I will have uh, uh, I will have a walkabout because there are so many places in Singapore. So even uh, the nine days I've gone gone and another nine days, uh, it's not enough. Uh, so I will go uh, on the walkabout. Uh, and uh, originally I planned to have a rally on Friday, uh, but I found that the venue is too expensive, and the expenses are too expensive, uh, and I don't have support of big tycoons. Uh, so therefore, uh, I'm reconsidering whether instead of a rally, is there another way? So this will be planned for the next few days. Uh, based on the interaction of the people I meet uh, at the market, at the mall, and based on the comments I receive uh, on uh, social media, I am confident. Within my social media, there is a group of people I consider malicious. They are out to just attack, criticize me. Uh, it's malicious. Uh, so I uh, exclude them. And if I look at the people who are genuinely expressing their opinion, uh, I'm very positive, confident. So you choose the, the people who are being malicious. Where do you think that people uh, they are most likely uh, coming from my competitors. Uh, now, uh, just now I had a word with uh, Mr. Taman. He, actually, he asked to speak to me. Uh, and Mr. Taman was uh, quite uh, gracious. He assured me that they are not from his team. Uh, and he assured me that he will not allow uh, this malicious attack from his team. But of course, uh, I'm not too sure uh, whether he knows what somebody else are doing on his behalf. Uh, so I'm not too sure about that. Uh, and uh, uh, I don't think it is Mr. Ng Kok Song. I don't think it's Mr. Ng Kok Song. So uh, I wanted to say uh, in my uh, uh, media release, which I, uh, I held back, uh, those uh, posts were over a period of 10 years. Uh, and if you take a look at the number of people who watched the post over 10 years, I believe it is more than 100,000. And yet, and during that time, I don't have any objection. So on this election, suddenly somebody uh, raised to say, send a few photos. Uh, and that person says, uh, I feel uncomfortable. But there are 100, more than 100,000 people who watched the post over 10 years. Why do you feel uncomfortable now? Of course, initially I thought that it is uh, uh, someone who just want to create problem for me, an individual person. Later on, I realized that it is a concerted effort to uh, smear me. And I also realized that the media, the editors, are part of this arrangement. I think it is, I want to say something to the media. The people trust you to be honest and fair. Now, how can you just smear me based upon something which is quite frivolous and you make it into a big issue? So I think uh, I, uh, I will have to say about the honesty, integrity of the media. Uh, okay, I will, I, I will say uh, something about integrity of the media. <clears throat> okay, anything else? Why do you, why you think it's not Mr. Ng? Huh? Okay, uh, you see, uh, I have been the subject of smears for 
more than 10 years. Uh, Mr Ng was not around. And these smears, uh, of course, come from one political party. Uh, and I said uh, uh, that to that political party, uh, you are in power. Uh, you want to ask people to unite. You want to ask people to uh, trust the, the government. Is this the way to behave? Uh, isn't there a better way uh, to engage people? So therefore, I don't think it's Mr. Ng. From the report I get, uh, most of them say uh, it is rubbish. Uh, and, the, and, the, and the way I'm portrayed, just based on, in fact, I wanted to write uh, to uh, AWARE. Uh, please tell me what exactly do you find offensive? But I got no way to reach out to them. Please, what exactly do you find offensive? I also want to say this. Uh, I did uh, say uh, there were some pretty girls, but the pretty girls take the effort to dress up and uh, to be attractive. And when I say that uh, they are, uh, you, are, you are quite attractive, most of them actually feel quite happy. Uh, I don't know why somebody would uh, want to use that uh, as a negative point and why the media, you take a look at all the articles there. Uh, the media portrayed it as a big, big thing. Uh, anyway, that's all I want to say today. I will say more about this uh, at a better time. But in case uh, some other ladies, after reading this, think that uh, uh, they are uncomfortable, I want to apologize to them. I have no intention. Uh, I have got uh, a wife. I've got uh, two daughters and three granddaughters. Uh, I think the portrayal of me by the mainstream media, by the mainstream media, is unfair and dishonest. And I hope that the mainstream media take my message because it's not me. Many people say they don't trust the mainstream media because it is not honest. So I hope your editor pay attention to this. Thank you.